Good morning everyone. It's Saturday and the smoke has lifted momentarily so we're gonna go out and do a little bike fishing up in the local creek and we're testing a bunch of gear. Yeah, we're playing bikes today. <laughs> <laughs> so Laura, you're getting ready to go on a bike packing trip. Tell us a little bit about that. Our friends at Ortlieb USA uh, organized a trip uh, in conjunction with Adventure Cycling. So we're going up to Whitefish in a couple of days out of the Whitefish bike retreat and we're gonna ride a stretch of the Great Divide. Fingers crossed that it's not too smoky or on fire. So I'm testing my setup. Sleeping bag and pillow in this one. Sleeping pad, clothes puffy jacket, cordage in that one. The accessory pouch up here, I've got uh, bike tools, a water filter, first aid kit, snacks up in here, bear spray of course, um, and then um, I don't have anything on the anything cages right now. We'll go there will be uh, likely my Crocs and a bunch of food. So I'm packing the complete opposite of Laura where she's going super light. I'm going ultra luxury. <laughs> got this uh, Burley Coho XC. Uh, trailer to test. So I'm loading up with a, a ton of fishing gear. So two pairs of boots, two rods, a backpack. I'm bringing a chair in case I feel like doing watercolors, the towel. I like this platform thing because you can put long things on here and it's not smacking the wheel. My two favorite features on this trailer is that it has a kickstand. It, it can actually hold up the entire bike so you don't have to find something long to lean things up on. Probably the niftiest thing on this whole trailer is this thing. It is a one-handed release that will let you uh, remove the trailer from, from the bike without fiddling with uh, the quick release or anything. You just kind of squeeze this and lift it up and bam, it's off. When we go pick up lunch to go, <laughs> do, you, do you think you have space in that trailer for us? No, it's all full. <laughs> all right, so it's been ages since I've used a trailer and it's ridiculous the amount of stuff you can carry. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Yeah. So we're in the rattlesnake. It should be smooth sailing from here because this is essentially like a big gravel road. So far so good. We're about the four mile mark. Uh, inside the brow sink, so we've got we have two more miles to go before we can start fishing. Howdy. So we've just passed the sign telling us we're deep enough in that uh, we can actually go fishing now. So the spot we're trying to get to is an area called Franklin Bridge. We actually haven't pedaled this far back in there yet. We finally get to see it. <laughs> Supposedly she saw a bridge. I can hear the creek. Oh, a bridge. Yay, we made it. Ah! So it's up there. There's another pair of bikepack fishers. <laughs> Pretty here. Oh, should we just go try to fish this stretch? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So I think we're going to pull in over here and just try to fish this uh, camp water, see what it looks like. All right. I got my rod set up, boots on. Uh, let's see if we can't find some fish. Well, I just had uh, two fish come up and I had one on for a hot second, but it got off. Uh, a couple more casts, no fish arriving, so this pool might be down for a little bit. Let's see how Laura did. How'd you do? I got three. You did? Three. Did you get a good size one? Uh, two of them were like eight inches. Oh, nice. Probably. 
That's like trophy size for this. Yeah, <laughs> and they took really hard. I thought I would show you guys my uh, kind of new packing trick for bringing a fly rod on a bike. Uh, basically, you know, one of the challenges is to have it set up and not constantly rebuild it. So this is one thing you can do. So put your fly uh, on the guide above uh, where you're gonna break up the rod. So this is a three-piece rod. Uh, this is where the top piece breaks off. I put the fly there. And then once it's there, this is where you can separate it very gingerly. Draw in a little bit of line to make things cut again. So everything's still together. And this is where uh, the real case actually comes in handy. You just slip it all in there with the fly. After you put the reel with the fly in the case, uh, you'll need like a rubber band or some kind of velcro-y thing. Uh, I think this is something just from some random bag to keep this top part together. And here you go. It's pretty compact. Uh, you could stick this in the side pocket of the backpack or in a pannier. Um, and the nice thing about this method is you hit some water, you don't have to string the guides up in or, or, or anything. It's, it's already mostly put together. So this is, uh, this is your bike fishing tip of the day. What's for lunch? <laughs> Salami and crackers. Wow. Isn't that cute? It looks so artisanal. <laughs> That's the idea. Good. All right, so we're all packed again, and I think we're gonna head back. Had a great time fishing, had a picnic, made a painting. Ellen, what do you think? It's nice. <laughs> it's a nice way to spend a Saturday. The trailer worked out great. It is heavy. <laughs> I think I, I was definitely struggling, uh, even on the, the shallower incline. You were kind of cruising, and I was trying to keep up. So, so there's that. But I did manage to carry all the things. And I think that's it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed it, this goofy little picnic ride up in the snake. And until next time, keep the supple side down.